Hello, this is CAV4CFS Martin, and I want to attempt to explain what I've just learned about how this radio works in saving repeater in memory. It's quite interesting. Normally, in my Yezu or my ICOM, I put in the frequency and it auto knows what the offset is standard and then I can also change the offset because remember a repeater broadcast on one frequency for example this local repeater the broadcast frequency is 146640 and then it receives on a different frequency and generally in two meters that's going to be 600 kilohertz or 0.6 megahertz and it's a known entity so you you have that set you put in a repeater you know the offset, if it's plus or minus, that means greater or less than this. And then the, the radio just automatically will save it. Well, these units don't do that. <laughs> and it was explained to me by, by Jim KC9HI. And I'm very grateful because he took some time in the Facebook BTEC UV-5X3 Facebook group and explained it to me. So I want to see if I can explain it to others and make this video for this radio. So here's the key. We have to know the frequency and then we have to know not the offset but what the other frequency would be. So 146640 with a negative offset of 600 would, would make the frequency for the repeater receiving to be 146 zero four zero remember minus the 600 we have to calculate that so we know how to save it now this repeater doesn't have a tone and i want to set it up this way so you can understand it and what i understand is if you want to put a tone on you put it the tone on the transmit frequency before you save it and then it will save that as well so let's go ahead and first understand where we are. So we need to be in the VFO setting. Channel mode. See, that's channel mode. Frequency and this mode. Frequency mode. So this is frequency mode, which is VFO, where we need to be. And I enter the number that the repeater's using to broadcast. And that, in this case, is 146640. So I'll put 146640. One, Zero. It's already Zero. entered by one to demonstrate that. All right. Now. W four. W six four. Rowley. Now, if you don't have your license, you can listen on the frequency. You don't need the transmit frequency, but I want that. So let's go into the menu. Menu. And now we want to go into save, and you need to know where the memory is. So we'll go to that. And this is the setting for memory, and that is, in this radio, uh, 27, or you could page up and down until you get to it. So you could get menu and page up and down until you get there. So that's how this menu system works. So I'm in it, and I hit menu again, and memory notice channel. how it goes down so I can change it. So let's decide which channel I want to put it in. And I think I want to put it in three. So that's what I want to do. So if I click it again, receiving listen. memory. Receiving memory. So that's important to note. That's the receiving memory frequency. Now I click exit, and then I click the, the channel mode. There we go. Frequency and we're back. Mode. In, see, we're back in the frequency mode. So you have to realize where you are. And then what do I want to enter next? One four six zero four zero. So. One four six zero four zero, and what is that? That's the frequency I want to transmit on because that's a frequency that the repeater is listening on. Now let's go into the menu. Menu, and I want to save. I go down to menu channel three. Now listen. Transmitting memory. So that's the transmitting memory signal. So that means from the radio. That's what's transmitting, and the first one you put in is what this radio is listening on, which the repeater is transmitting on. 
Now let's see if we can open the repeater, and we're going to switch over to that memory. So channel mode. Now channel mode, and then I want to go to memory. One, two, seven, zero, three. There he is. Memory location three. Do you see that? I'm in channel mode, which is also MR on this radio. And now let's see if it opens the repeater. It should from this area. It just won't be real clear. This is KI4 CFS testing. There we go. It opened the repeater. Did you see how the frequency changed? KI4 CFS clear. That's how this saves the memory. So you have to calculate the offset and then know what the two frequencies are and then save them. So this is a simple demonstration of how to save a repeater, ham radio repeater, into the memory on this BTEC UV-5X3. The next video I want to show is how to save a simplex channel in and guess what you need to make sure to save it twice so you'll put in the simplex for listening and for receiving and also how to put a tone in so that if the repeater needs an, a tone it will send that tone sub audible tone out and open up the repeater let me know if this was useful this is martin bosman ki4 cfs and really want to thank KC9HI, which spelled this out for me. Appreciate it.